One, two, three, four, about seven. Uh -huh. You push that pan up. You push that pan up, and if it needs to go down more, the pan pushes up like it comes okay. up. Then you slide it back forward. Now, if it's thick enough, you're going to take it in. Okay. That drops it down further to the ground. Go one hole at a time or two holes. That's where it's at. Okay. Make sure you got both sides has the same amount of holes on each side. Yeah. That makes it even. Okay? Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Hold this down. Okay. And your doors and stuff will close. Huh. Okay. Then you got a grab handle goes up inside. People take this and put it like that when you're traveling. Okay. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Let me show you now. Okay. It's electric. Takes all the work out of it. But not both, right? No. Just one, either this end or that end. Okay. Okay. One okay. End, you want to drain on that end, you put it over. You want to drain that end, you put it Okay. Okay. Push it back up. Put it back in. Slide rooms, there's your arm. Gotta get the stuff on them lights. Uh-huh. You take it on and in and bring it out. Okay. We just take it all the way back in all that. And it does your jacks. Okay. And you slide them. Alright. Okay. And it's supposed to be a remote for those lights right there. It makes them jump around. Oh, there 
Yeah, one's down, now the other's down. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so don't think it's something wrong. It's yeah. One. When it does that, you stop. Okay. Now we're trying to get to the front. There it is. Okay. You gotta play with it. Yeah. It's hard to do on a bright day, too. It is. That's David Ryder's teacher from Rock on the Ridge. Okay. Watch your door. Yeah, it comes in. See that? Turn that off. Don't get switched to work. Okay. Are you on the light switch? How's that switch? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't talk about that. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Not yet. Well, the main thing is take it home and play with it. Yeah. And you can prove it. Okay. So that's your manual switches for your jacks up mm -hmm. and down. It extends down, retract, takes them up. Okay. I'm going to take this out right here and we're going to put your sewer hose up in here. Okay. Keeps out your main compartment. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. You got a satellite prep here. You got a satellite you put up here. Okay. So it's out there. You got a park cable that goes right here. Okay. Put your park cable in, comes into your TV, comes out out there, your TV outside. Okay, this is your water here. It's gas and electric. Okay. The electric switch is right here. Okay. Down the zone. You want your camera on put some water in. Metal gas is hot water. Okay. Okay. Once a year, it's called an annual rod. You need to change that. Okay. Take it out. Turn the switch off. That keeps the power off. If it's plugged up, turn mm -hmm. it off. Take that out. Step over there and take it out. Hit that right there. It's going to wash all that bottom out. It's going to have like, some particles down there. Yeah. Come off that rod. Piece of hard stuff out of the water. Stuff like that. So you change. It's called an annual rod. Okay. Once a year. That's your electric heating element right there. And that's pretty much all you can do. It's lights on gas, but switch inside. Okay. Okay? Now you're going to put a bug screen over this. Okay. That was my next question. <laughs> to keep the bees and stuff. Yep. Okay. We sell them in the store. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Now, this is the back refrigerator. You're really not going to be in there for anything. Lori. That's a drain tube. Okay. Uh, there's not a whole lot in there. Yeah. yeah it's got glass fuses and stuff in there. If you have a problem, you'd be better right about that. Okay? <laughs> Just so you see what's in there. Yeah. It's got a warranty and everything on it, so I don't think you have any problems out of it. Can't promise you that. <laughs> it's yeah, I like, uh, technology, so that's Yes, yeah, man made. <laughs> Now it's backup camera ready if you want to put a backup camera. Okay. It's a Curion camera. It's wireless. You put the camera here and it goes, the monitor goes in your truck. Okay. If you decide you want one of them. Okay. It's got that new PVC rubber on top of it. All you do is get up over the ladder, wash your soap and water, check around your vents and your end caps for sealant being cracked, spider web. If it is, you need to get sealed. Okay. You live local? Yeah, uh, over in um, Seminole County, uh, Georgia. It's pretty good ways to tow it. That's about an hour. Uh, some Saturday, if you're heading this way or something, drag it over here, they'll get up and look at it and check it. Okay. Charge it up. Okay. If it needs some work or anything, they'll take it. Okay. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Terry, let me ask you this. The roof, can you walk on it? You can. You need to be on the joists when you walk. Like okay. Rafters, you'll see them. Okay. I, I want you to scoop and start stomping around. Yeah. All right got the new on top stuff on it. It's pretty thick, but still, you know, 
you never know what's going to happen. Okay, now this is your sewer system. And your starter kit's going to have a 10 foot sewer hose. You're going to put it on here, take a cap off, put the sewer hose on, twist it. Okay. Now, that black valve back there, that big one, yep. that's, that's your toilet. Okay. You're going to take them, open it first, dump it, mm -hmm. close it back. Come right here, open this one, that's your sink and shower water. Okay. That washes out your hose. Okay. And then, if you want to flush the tank out, you leave the black valve open. Right here is the black tank. Mm -hmm. Put a water hose on it, turn it on. Let it run about 10 minutes, wash out real good. Cut the water off. Let it drain, then close your valves back. Take your hose off. Okay. Okay. City water. When you start the kids, going to have a 50-pound regulator. Put it on here, and now it's 50-pound pressure going inside the camper. Okay. Okay. This is outside shower. Let me get a key. I'll show you that. Record him for just a minute. It's just all you gotta do is hold it to still record. Where are you going? I'm on the turn these off because it drops the water pressure inside of you though. Okay. Okay. Low point drains. Uh, get down there somewhere. I don't see them. cold water. <laughs> Take them caps off right there uh -huh. and drain it. And let the water drain out. Uh, then go inside and open your faucets up and let the water drain out. Okay. When it's done draining, put your caps back on. Okay. That's to help you winterize. Okay. Okay. Any questions on that? I think so. When your slide rooms, you're going to get a can of seal conditioner. Okay. You can spray these slide rooms down. Don't spray nothing on your cables, no oils, no grease. Okay. Keep the top of it clean because when it goes in, there's an inner seal, if it gets a pine cone or twigs, it's going to raise up, it's going to cause it to leak inside. Okay. Now you can put a slide topper on it, if you want one. You'll measure from this end right here, to that end down there. If it says 88 inches, that's what you tell it. Okay. If you want to blacken, you get your blacker and get your white one. Okay. If you want to bring by here, we'll measure them and get the right measurements and everything for you. Okay. Besides your one. They each weigh four and five hundred dollars. Okay. Let them know. Okay. okay. You okay about everything here? I think so. Galley tank, that's going to be in the kitchen sink. It's a valve. Yeah, I see it. Thing yeah. right there. There's a the valve. It's, I think, right on the other side of it. You it probably can't see it from your angle. Yeah. You open that valve and that drains that kitchen sink. Okay. Okay. All right. And it's also got another sewage outlet there. That's, yeah, that's a, a gray tank. Okay. Yeah. That's for the kitchen sink. It's got a tank on it. I'm going to put the room and put the cap back on it. But, you know, you can take a hose. And get two hoses, mm -hmm. run together, put a splitter on it, and run your hose down there. Now it's easier to close these rooms to open them up. Yeah. And it's it's <laughs> just a lot easier. And that way you can drain all of it at one time. It's got a sensor inside that tells you how full they are. Okay. And all that so you know. Okay. Okay. Fresh water tank. That's okay. for your dry camping. Okay. Holds about 50, 60 gallons of water. And it weighs 8.3 pound gallons, so you don't want to haul a lot of that around. We'll drain it before you leave. Okay. Okay. If you like, keep going to Talladega or somewhere like that, you'll feel that. All right. <laughs> storage goes through right there. That's your panel for that yep. front jack. Okay. Any questions? Nope. Okay. If for some reason electricity doesn't work on the jacks, will that work here too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's jacks are 12 volt. Okay. Not one ten or twelve. No, okay. Oh, that battery's up and things should work or something happened. Oh, okay, okay. You have to you have to get a manual. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. I'll just do the inside. <laughs> Chris, 
critics everywhere. I know. <laughs> Stationary, don't go up now. I'll be good to push it up. Okay. And Cleve, it's on the antenna right now. Right here, the antenna boosted. Okay. That green light has to be on local channels. Okay. You're going to use park cable, turn it off. Okay. We're going to leave this cable here, the cable, and the antenna. Uh-huh. You're going to do a satellite to take it off and put it up here. Okay. Don't no, use no power on cable or satellite. Okay. Use okay. the antenna. These are your jacks from your radio, ET. That thing don't have. That's just the AUM FM radio. Mm-hmm. Bluetooth. You don't have a DVD. Okay. I don't have a couple of <laughs> I guess you can put one there. Uh, you can set one somewhere for one. Bluetooth, uh, auxiliary, USB port, mm -hmm. the headphones on Green, yellow, 
and these are percentages of it. Okay. It jumps it up and down, okay. fades it, and all that. All right. Okay. Which is a pretty little gas. Something else to get more problems. This goes right here. Oh, that's, that's, that's smart. Yeah. Now, right here, this is what you bring to coal. Okay. Bad. Lights is up, okay? Next is your fresh water tank. It's full, we're we'll done. Next is your black tank. And when it gets up here between two thirds and that full, uh -huh. you're gonna dump it. Okay. And your gray tank, same, same way. Thing. That's your bathroom and kit and shower. Okay. And uh, this is gonna be your kitchen sink. Okay. It does the same thing between two thirds and full, you're gonna dump it. Come here and there's water in the sink, you know the tank's full. Okay. Okay. This is water pump. If uh, dry can. That's working. Okay. Fine cold water. Let me put some cold water. Let me take it. Yeah. Start to get warm now. Oh, yeah. Yep, there it is. And mix it right there. Back our cold. cold water. Okay. Water heat to the gas side. If it's been sitting like two weeks and you turn it on, mm -hmm. that red light's going to come on. Okay. Once that lights, that get, red light goes out. That tells you that it's lit on gas. Okay. Okay. And that's your lights outside, awning lights outside. This is your inside light. This is your awning switch, takes it out. Take it out, push it down, and then brings it in. Okay. This is slide when you can do it manually, or you can do it there. Okay. When you close that room, you have to have that door there shut. Oh, good. Because they right. tire the whole door off. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> okay, close down here. Okay. Light switch outside on these. Okay. Go over the uh, water heater again about if it's been off. Right here? Yeah. Now you won't use it on gas hardly any okay. at all because you're going to be plugged in. Right. You use that. Now if you want to use the gas, turn it on. There'll be a red light come on. If that water's cold, mm -hmm. that red light's going to come on. Once it lights, that red light goes out. Okay. Okay? But you'll hardly ever use that. Yeah. Most people, when they're doing it, they'll turn it on and help it heat the water and take a shower. Because okay. you've got a six gallon tank, you mix the water, there's plenty of water to take a shower. Okay. Okay. Any questions there? Uh, no. Okay. Storage up here. Up here. Okay. Here's your freezer. Right? This stays on auto all the time. Okay. If it power goes out, change the gas automatically. Okay. Now we'll never miss that button there because it puts it on gas all the time. Okay. It should be as cold as it can be. Oh yeah, that's cold. Okay. Refrigerator wants to be 36, 37 degrees in here. Okay. It's got what's called a thermistor right here. Mm -hmm. The higher it goes, the colder it gets. Okay. You want these fins to sweat, they're going to rip into this pan and run out that little tube back there. Okay. Get your little small thermometer about, it's a cost a couple of dollars. Sit in here, get this thing about 36, 37 degrees. Okay. That's about where it's at now. Okay. Because it's not freezing. If it's yeah. freezing, you know, because be, mm -hmm. oh, that'll freeze your food. 33 degrees freezes your food. Okay? Now, if you're going to store it and not be used for a while, I'm reading my mind. Take one of these, and put it on here. Turn it around. That's your back tire. Okay. Now, open both doors. Turn it off. That keeps it mildewing and getting molded inside. Okay. Okay. Questions on that? I don't think so. Okay. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's got some root holders down in the bottom of it. I'm going to put this right here. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay. The fire suit's at the door. Okay. Okay, this is your main control panel. Okay. Okay. All these are your one tens. Okay. If something's tripped, it's going to be up. Okay. Down the road now. Okay. If something's not working, come and check these. Make sure they're not tripped. They are reset. Okay. They're all labeled what they do right there. This is your 12 volt system. All your lights, your water heater, your refrigerator, gas side. If it blows a fuse, there's going to be a red light come on the side of it. Okay. They're all labeled right there. Just change it out with a 15 amp fuse, put it back in. If it keeps blowing it, you can look and see what circuit it is so you know what to tell us. Okay. Okay. Now, 
come in here and you light this real dim and you check your battery and your things down, there's two 40 amp fuses right there. Okay. Check in 40 amp fuses first because they could have got a power surge and blood. Okay. So you need some 15s and 240s. Okay. Okay. Any questions on that? I don't think so. Okay. And it closes back. Okay. Yeah. Just don't like it. <laughs> Alright, you got your battery. The hot cold water in it. That's a GFI. Any horn in this camper or something don't work. You want know, 10 plus? Yep. Come check this to make sure it's not tripped. If it's tripped, there's going to be a yellow light on it. Reach over. Reset. Okay. Okay. You have the space here. That stuff that goes in the flat tank after you flush it out. Okay. Your starter kit's going to have that stuff in it too. Okay. Okay. Got a fan that opens up. Mm -hmm. Most people open this when they're taking a the shower, so don't steam up the bath. And you put a bin over it if you want one on it. Uh, to me, if it's open, it's just going to pull out your AC. Okay. Pull it all the way down, push it all the way to this water. And when you put chemicals in the tank, after you wash it out, fill it up about like this bowl right here. Uh huh. And then pour that chemical and let it dissolve, drop it down in. Sterilize it, keeps it smelling. Okay. Okay. I'll turn off my can and we're turn off the light switch. Okay. That storage under here. Right there. Got your shower, hot and cold water, you'll mix it. And then get in. Okay? Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Keep your doors closed when you're driving. If you don't, they're going to get too hot. Okay. Has to be closed, this room comes in. This here. Called a carbon oxide detector. If, it's, if you're in here and it starts beeping, real loud going off, go outside, cut your gas off, leave the door open. Okay. About 30 minutes, let it stay out. Open up. Come back in, check, make sure nobody didn't turn the stove on by accident. If the stove's okay. off, you need to bring it to us, no stupid problem. Okay. Because you created a mix Okay. We can't have plug here. Now, this is your thermostat. This does your AC and your heat. Okay. We'll cut it off. That's going to go blue. It's going to be blue. It's going to go black. That's going to run for a minute and it's going to cut off. Okay. You know, get that thing to blue. Good. Turn this off. You can turn that anywhere you want. Okay. Now, that's going to run for a second and it's going to cut off. Basically. Okay. Now, you want to run this thing on auto high. Okay. You get the first time you hit it, it's going to come blue. Second time, it's going to come to your fan. You want to run on auto high because down here in the south it gets so hot. If you run on low, it's going to freeze up. Okay. Because it can't blow the condensation off the condenser. So you can change it high or low. But I always leave it on auto high. Okay. Because if it stays on high, when the pressure kicks off, the fan's going to stay running. And then when the heat comes on, the AC fan's going to come on. Okay. So leave it on high. Auto high, like that right there. Okay. Next time it's going to be your AC. That's a snowflake. Adjust up and down wherever you want it to be. The next one's going to be your furnace. Just make sure it comes on. It's underneath there. Okay. It takes you a second. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> and it blows through some vents. Is that vent over here in the corner? Uh-huh. It comes out there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Is it warm? <laughs> Not yet. All right, it, it take it a minute yeah. to light. Okay. It'll it, it warm up. You can set it at 7 degrees, 65 degrees. Yeah. Just like This thing's just like a house. And what you said that it's going to run to, because that temperature will cut off. Okay. And it's going to come back on. But I think in the, in the summertime, you're going to run this thing down. Yeah. About 50 to keep it cool. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, it is. I mean, be honest. Hey, you got to enjoy the RV, so. Right. Right. So I'll bring it back and put it on. AC will come back on. Okay. Now this makes a bed. A little jack bed. I got right there. Okay. Okay. Is that good? A little bit of storage under that pulls yep, open. Okay. You can slide stuff up on you. Keep your blinds down. It keeps everything cool in here. Got storage up here. Storage over here. Got a light switch right there. Now you can open this up right here. Cool this whole area off quick. Okay. And then you can cool it back. Open okay. through your vents. Take this out. Clean that filter. Okay. Start getting dirty. And your stove. Yep. I'm just going to show you how it happens. Turn your fan on. Okay? Now you can turn it down. 
if you had to turn that vents away from it. Yeah. <laughs> blow it everywhere. You don't have to use but one eye or you use them all. Okay. Right? I want you to see that it work. You can turn them off. Right now. Okay? Okay. Be sure they're all off. Now your oven. You guys have one of those stick lights. Okay. You're going to turn the pilot. Down here on the bottom, there's a little burner way back on the back. You hold in on this, light that till it turns blue. Okay. Once it turns blue, let off of it. Can you see it right there? Yeah. It's got a little probe over there. Yeah. Yep. Right. Light that till it turns blue. Then let off that and leave it on the pilot. You stay burning the whole time you're careful. Okay. You get a little bait, push it in, turn the temperature you want it to be. Put it run out of that chamber and heat this whole thing up. Okay. When you're done, just turn it back to the pilot. Turn it off. Alright, so leave it pilot on when I'm using it right. uh, the whole time. Okay. And you get ready to cook, turn it up, turn it back to five. Okay. You get ready to go home, turn okay. it off. Okay. Now that should be it. That's what we got there. Any questions? Where's the water pump located? Mm, pump behind that man. Okay. Alright. Leave me in the back. Oh, behind that panel right there. Yeah, I think I hear it. That too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, well, that air conditioner's hard to hear. <laughs> yeah, and you know. And we're here to find that thing. Okay. Okay? Any questions over here? I don't think so. All right, the only, only thing I recommend for this is what they call a surgery table. 30 amp surgery table. It goes on green and you cold. Okay. Until you get to this. Go to a site, get ready to plug in, plug it in first. It means all green, it means it's good. Okay. Green and yellow, green and red, don't plug the camera. Plug another spot. Okay. You plug it in, plug the cord into the bottom of it, and the screen is good. Now, if line that hits, it's going to stop it right there. Mm -hmm. If you go out there and just plug into it, don't have a certain tech, and it's got dirty power, it goes your converter, your TV, your microwave, your refrigerator, it will be on green, won't you won't cover it. Okay. So you need a certain tech. Okay. If you don't buy nothing else, now it's over. Terry, let me ask you this. When we looked at this a couple of times, this door wouldn't stay shut. Because it wasn't level. Well, that, that's what I said. I just wanted to make sure. All right, when you're towing it down the road, will it open up? Should. Okay. Uh, just, should. All right. Yeah. All right. But you want to close and bring your room in. Right. Okay. And when you ain't sitting, we'll, we'll keep that room coming in. Yeah. When that room will come on in and it'll match it. Now, you put stuff up here. It's, it's going to come. Probably right back in here somewhere. Okay. I have any questions on me there? These are your keys. Oh yeah, let's try those out. After you open the door, you got the number. Uh-huh. Sure that's your key number. Okay. Write that down and keep it somewhere. Okay. In case you lose these. That purple key is going to lock that top lock and that bottom lock. When you're in here with night, lock your dead lock. Okay. That's just like your house. You don't have to tear that door off to get in. Okay. You know what I mean? And you lock. Always lock that dead bolt when you leave home. Okay. Nobody cannot take an M key and unlock that dead bolt. This is going to lock your top lock, which is the M key, and that's going to lock your dead bolt. Okay. But they're cut there. So don't worry about somebody having a key that's going to lock that dead bolt. Because they're not. You got two of them. These are your compartment keys and the outside shower keys. Okay. Okay. All right. I have a question. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Does this window break out if you needed to get out of here? Uh, no, it don't break. Well, it will. I mean, it will open. Yeah, I don't have what to call the next one. You had to try to get out of that. Okay. All right. Hopefully, if you start a fire, we'll be back on this Okay. Yeah, but another. Well, it's got a smoke detector. Look at that. Right there. Right there. You hear that? And it's got battery power. <laughs> it's a 9 volt battery. Okay. Okay. Have any questions on either? There's a microwave just like a regular house. All right, now you got this glass top, and it has to be down when you travel. Okay. It stays up when you cook it. Okay. And when I turn the gas on, it's down. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. okay. As the line comes down, you can hook in here on each end. Okay. And you can just up and down like that. That keeps it from uh, rattling and shaking going down the road. Okay? All right. Drain pan, thing, or you can set hot stuff. Okay. On um, when traveling, any 
keep these in or keep them out? Keep them in. Okay, then it doesn't matter. Okay. It should take care of it. Put your remotes and everything in your drawer. Turn your TV off. Bring it over. I'm going to bring the slide over. I'm going to bring the slide over. Okay. Okay. Turn off AC. And turn the AC. Then it goes blue. Then it goes solid blue and stop. Alright. And then cut off the set. <laughs> you see how much you got? You can still go to the bathroom stuff. Uh -huh. You grab them. You can put a little bit of water in it. You want to? Yeah. We have we'll water. Have it. Ten. Five, ten, yeah. When it does that, you stop. Okay. Okay. You turn the light switch off. And we turn that fan off. Should I see daylight out in there? I think there's a light. I think oh. there's a light. I think there's a light up there. Oh, okay. And it's right over there. Okay. Flip that switch right there. This one? Yeah. That ain't it. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I see the lights. Definitely lights up there. There it is. There you go. It's on this switch. Okay. <laughs> on your light switch. Okay. Main switch. I got a lot of switches here. Yeah. I was thinking that was a, that was a lot of daylight coming in there. <laughs> it's got that much daylight. We got a problem. <laughs> Baby, you're going to have water going there. With it's not a good thing. No, it wouldn't be a good thing. All right. You satisfied to walk through everything good? I think so. You? Okay. I think you yeah. covered everything that I thought. All right. We, I'll need your truck. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Uh, this has to be hooked up and running. At least 24 hours before you go to camp. Okay, cool okay. it off. You're going to plug it up and you get home and keep it plugged up? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just turn it on and leave it on. Okay. That's all you got to do. Now, if you got a 30 amp service at home, you're going to use No, i got to use 15. Okay, it's got a thing in the starter kit. Yeah. You're coming in your power cord. Okay. And it takes it from a 30 to a 15. 15. Okay. Now, you can't run the AC. That's it won't run that. Yeah. Or the electric water here. Just turn them off. You're going to run your radio, your TV, your lights. Okay. Keep your battery charged up. Keep your refrigerator cold. Okay. Okay. Other than that, that's it. It's great. It's yours. I'll get you. You truck. Okay. I'll need your truck to put the brake control. Okay. And the hitch. When I get all that done, I'll show you how to operate it. Okay. And it should be good. Excellent. You better, you. you better show him your truck. Yeah, I know. You're, you're yeah, I have to put, with truck. Pushing a lot of buttons out there trying to find the right he'd be, one. He'd be hitting the alarm. <laughs> hey, I'm doing parking lot all the time. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Just open your door up like that. You know that was one of the main selling points. That's a good thing. Right a there. good step. Yeah. Well, you got a handle to go up here. Yeah, sturdy, sturdy handle. But that in the um, electric um, jacks. jacks. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, you, you, you forget about it. You'll get used to it. I'll drive down the road with the mom. People think it's a party truck. There you go. Now it's got lights in them outside speakers. That switch over on that panel, so it turns them lights on. Okay. And it'll be little blue lights. Okay. Are you good? There we go. That's pretty looking. It is. I like it. Yeah. I'm very pleased. All right. I'm very pleased with what you've taken me through it. Well, get home. We have a problem with something. Oh. Okay. We'll talk to you. All right. Here, let me Thank show you. you. Later. Later. Oh, now you can follow Oh, I got you. Okay. Now, we're going to latch. Now, you're on there. You got your latch down. <laughs> okay. Now, you're going to lift the truck and the trailer up together. Okay. And then You need to get your full, full block put here. Okay, so you don't have to go as far? Yeah, I'm going to get a piece of put here. I don't want to extend it as far. So you won't extend your jacks as far. Okay. It won't take that long. We just do it right and I'll show you how to do it. That ain't going to do that. <laughs> going to move a little bit. Then when you get that block under it, you're going to take the jack, you're going to raise the truck and the trailer together. Okay. Okay. Son. I guess technically it's first time or <laughs> Hey, they don't really want it back. No, they don't. No. <laughs> no, they kind of try to sell me anything and everything to make sure that they didn't get it back. <laughs> did he see you the store? No, you know, he did a pretty good job. <laughs> there was a couple, of, he wanted to sell me the surf protector, but we're like, um, we got that, so. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Okay. That was a birthday present for me. <laughs> okay. Just, Along with. <laughs> all right. Now you get your block lock it, that way you don't have to extend your jacks. Okay. Now you're going to run it down bring the truck up. Okay. You've got this on here. Now sometimes if this won't go down, your ball is setting back too far, so you have to ease the truck forward just a little bit to get that ball to go forward, then that'll go down in there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You won't get this up where it's kind of pitched high. Okay. And it ain't too bad putting on there. A lot of good fish know who y'all at, ain't it? Yes. Good fish. We got something y'all don't have here. We got nets. Nets. Oh, We had them here earlier. <laughs> they like to beat us to death around here. <laughs> First of spring. Oh, you can open your mouth. Oh. Mm. Get her about like it right there. This one? Here to serve. Take them. We're going to take it right here. Snap it in. Okay. You take it to the front. Fix it out. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and try that. Make sure I get your hand on Make it snap. There you go. Take it out to the front. It takes it out. Okay. See that? And we'll snap it back in. When it does that noise, you're getting hurt you straight. Okay. Let me get set up here. Okay. Let me do one time. Oh, it's getting hot, ain't it? Yes, yep. it is. I'm glad I got some that hot. rain, you know? Yes. It rains the hard here Thursday, and you couldn't see from here that road. Wow. It just come. Okay, you're going to put in the third link. Okay. Read you bring this thing up. I got lined up on my sure it's okay. up straight. So you can put the chains on these. If you try to do it from the ground, you're never going to do it. Okay. Okay. See how easy it went on? Uh-huh. Yeah, now make sure that chain is straight up and down. Third one like this? Yeah, take it and pull it here. Pull that down. Run the chain up between the center of it. Third and in. Okay. Then you're going to take that, put back on that, pull it up. 
I'm going to do it. There's going to be a pin coming out here. Like that. Okay. Okay. And it's on. All right. Now you're going to let it back down. Don't get, get you a block like that. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to take it high. Mm-hmm. But you want to get that boy sitting high like that. Okay. It's easier to put on. Yeah, kind of a little bit like that. Yeah, if you try to do it on the ground, you're never going to make it. Okay. It's just, it's just too hard. You always bring your jack up when you're at the bottom of these right here. Okay. I wouldn't bottom it out. It brings back the bottom of that. All right. That way, if it drags, you don't went too far down something. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> no. No, that wouldn't be a good sign. <laughs> now, it's kind of going downhill. But you can step back and look at your truck's level. The trailer should be level. Oh, yeah. See that truck set? Uh-huh. Not like this. Look back. Trailer set good and level? Yeah. Okay. Let me stretch it, tell you how to do it there if you want to keep them. Okay. Let me grab that. Okay. Let me grab that. Let me grab that. I'm here to hold. Okay, it's got a notch on it, goes to the bottom. Notch goes bottom. Little tag getting in there. I see it does. There it goes. Make sure it goes in to that. Okay. Go in. It's tight. It's yeah, brand new. <laughs> they've been used. We may have been used. I don't know. There you go. There it went. See there? Uh-huh. That's going to come up and that's going to hold it from coming okay, out. Okay, I see. Okay. Now, this is called a breakaway cable. If it's the breakaway from the trailer, it would lock the brakes down and stop the trailer. Okay. Now you will have to get you another little hook, put it in here, and you will hook it separate in here. Okay. I'm going to run through your chains. Keep it in your chain. And I'm going to put it in your hook today, but later take it off and put a little C hook on it. Okay. Okay. You take a left one, put it on the right side. Okay? Take a right and put it on the left side. You have to cross it. Okay. It said state law. I don't know. <laughs> Never know. Better be safe than sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get stopped. And they say, well, you got these un uncrossed. Yeah. And give them a reason to give you a ticket. <laughs> they ain't looking. Okay. Now I'm going to put it through here today. Okay. We'll later get you one that's just it here. Things like it right there. Okay. Take that one. Just like it right there. Okay. Now you're hooked up. Okay. Propane's off. Everything's off. Okay. It's your tank cover. That's right there. You can loosen these, turn that up, and get to your tanks. Okay. Now if you're going to give me left turn, right turn, brake, yep. run last. Now put that in your put that in your compartment right there. We're going to lose it. Whoa. Then we're going to put this on in just a minute and I'll show you how to do okay. it. Okay. All right, left turn, right turn. And then brake and running lights. And brake and running lights. Okay. Okay, turn the key on. All right, give me left turn. Okay, give me brake. All right, turn your headlights on. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, 
spray you a little bit of dip deep for them rocks. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to let you. Remember that. Oh, that's right. Then. Yeah, I was going to drain the fresh water tank. Let that drain, you take it 30 minutes probably. Okay. Probably about 50 gallon of water in it. Okay. When you get home, just turn that valve straight out. Alright. And keep some mud dogs out. Okay, let me show you. Now put your starter kit in there. He showed you that. Um, he, he told me what was in it, what goes in it. Okay, if he showed you everything was in it, then you know about it. Yeah. yeah that goes like that. You gotta wiggle it. That's why I say get you some uh -huh. spray and spray them. Going upside down. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's your 30 amp power cord. Okay. It pushes in. You line these up here on. Mm -hmm. Push in, twist it. Okay. And you tighten that up on the thing. Okay. okay. Now this there's got a 10 foot sewer hose in it. That goes on the other end, so you can see when you're done dumping. Okay. It's got three different sizes for your dump station. Okay. So the adapter go down to a 15. That's a 50 pound regulator. Okay. Okay. 25 foot water hose, biogradable toilet paper. Okay. Stuff that dissolves. Then it's got droppers that goes in the toilet after you flush out the tank. Okay. And a bucket. Okay. Any questions? No, sir. Okay. They took your picture and everything? No. They did not take my picture. <laughs> I'm surprised. Well, they got to before you leave. <laughs> Maybe they knew I was coming back because we're going to grab lunch and then take it home. <laughs> I can't so that's not. Turn it back this So there you go, that's the key. Do that side first key. and then lock it down. Yeah. Got it. Then lock it down. Lock it right there. Okay, let me show you. Brake control. Okay. That's, that's good. <laughs> no problem. Good. Thank you. That's good to know. Okay. Now your brake control when you first C has to is connected. Okay. Okay. Now this here on the wheel that has the power to it. Right now it's wide open. Okay. So we're gonna turn it back all the way down. Let me have a key. I don't know if you brake hard or light, that's something you're going to have to play with. Okay. Is that fit? Yeah, you're yeah. right, yep. Oh, I'm having trouble like you are. <laughs> okay, flashing zeros. Get the brakes when we do that. Turn it toward the front. Okay. All right, starting to read numbers. Okay. You want it to be about 1.8, okay. 2.0 to start off. I would say 2.0. Oh, when I take it out here, I'll try to get as close to 2.0 as I can. Okay. You want to feel it tug on the truck. You don't want it jerking you uh -huh. or sliding the tires. Okay. The more you push it forward, the more power it's going to put on. Okay. Okay. You really can't tell what it's doing because it's sitting still. The wheels ain't rolling. Right. But you can get close. See there? Mm-hmm. So, as you go across there, just kind of play with your brakes. And we'll get as close as we can. That's something you're going to have to do yourself. Okay. Okay. But forward adds, back takes away. Okay. Do it, get the 2.0 and see what it does. If it eases on it, good. If it jerks you, then back it down. Okay. Turn the wheel back to your leg. Okay. Add more power to it, you turn the wheel. Now it's got a power button there. 6, 1, 2, and 3. I leave it on about 6, 1. Okay. Now if you're in the mountains, you can bump it up. And that gives you more power to your brakes. Okay. Now if it gets crazy and starts weaving with you, just let off your gas and your brake. Reach down here and just ease this in slowly. Gonna pull it to right in behind you. Okay. Get your gas and take off. Okay. Okay. Any questions? I don't think so. Okay. You got the instructions on here in the box. 
Okay. Just read this stuff, it will tell you a lot about it. Okay, good. But you're going to have to fill it out, I can't tell you exactly right. how hard you brake. You brake light, you brake hard, but you play that wheel. 2.0, 2.5, 3, we'll bring it back to 1.5, 1.8, something like that, so you get the feel of it. Okay. And you want to just tug you, not jerk. Okay. Or slide the tire. Just slide the tire, just too much. It's too much. If it jumps up our 3, 4, turn that thing down. Okay. So you get used to it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull it around here for you. Okay. I'm going to take it around the building, I'll meet you out front. Okay, and, and can we pull it to the side, because we're going to run out to lunch? Just pull it right out there. And we got another car, so yeah. we'll take the other car and yeah, get we'll lunch. Yeah, we'll leave this up. All right, now you didn't do the sway control. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting my head myself. <laughs> uh, I usually don't have that done. <laughs> we were too fast inside. Yeah, we could not get it in there. Okay. Sway control. Do not back up. Okay. You have to back up and take it off. Okay. Okay. Because you can't sway. Well, no, it's not that. It'll bend it. Okay. It don't have as long a throw backing up as it does going forward. Okay. It'll pull. Way out here. Oh. Going okay. forward. You backing up, it's going in. It's going to bend this. It's going to break that okay. thing off here. Or it's going to mess this up. So you're going to do that. Okay. What this basically pulls high wheels. Yeah. We don't like this. Start weaving, weaving the big truck past you, pull over, take two fingers, do that. Okay. Take off and drive another 10 miles. Big truck past you, if you don't weave and just, don't jerk you, you're good. Okay. And if it starts jerking the truck, you back it off. If you bottom this all the way out, then you come right here and then you add some more to it. Okay. But if it starts jerking your truck, just take it, stop, take it back off again. Okay? Okay. And don't back up. Okay. Okay. Have any questions we later on, let us know. Let okay. I'm going to take it around the building and take your brakes. I'm going to park her out there toward that sign. Okay.